Good morning, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, we're carrying over. Remember we were talking last week, the illegal butt injections, Kimberly Smedley, everyone enjoyed it. Guess what? We have more of the juicy inside information. Plus, for those of you that have senior citizens, your moms, your dads, your aunts, uncles, you need to gather around the television this morning. I have some information that's going to make sure that the lifeline is available to you. It's all happening on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show this this morning, your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out. It's time to get lamped. Good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody, everybody, get up. Everybody, everybody, get up. Come on. Just for We're you, smile and laugh, cause God loves yeah. you. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on. Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. Welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down right now. I'm excited because, of course, you know my senior citizens. I love you guys. Huh? <laughs> Good morning. Come through. And I'm going to always be taking care of you. And this morning, it's about you. So first of all, I need you to, call, matter of fact, Call your children, call your nieces, your nephews, everybody. Get your caretakers in. You're going to want to hear this this morning. I'm excited because I have some dear friends who are here with me this morning from Safe Life Senior, and it's all about making sure that our seniors are taken care of. Good morning to Elizabeth. How are you this good morning? Good morning. I'm doing good great. Morning, Thank ben. you. Good morning, How are you? Doing good. Listen, so you all are with Safe Life Senior. Tell us a little bit about Safe Life Senior. What, exactly what is Safe Life Senior? Well, Safe Life Senior is a nonprofit company. We've been in business since 1982 and we provide the medical alert service which is the button you can press if you need help and um, we also provide a range of other services that just help keep seniors independent and safe. I think that you know the thing about it is everyone knows about that button and what's so ironic is that when something happens with um, your family member or like the first time that they fall or because you know older people love their y'all love your independence now we know that you love your independence so they love to be able to live alone to continue to function as normal but you want to have that safety and security of mama if something happens to you just press this button and they're coming and they're coming immediately how fast is the response between them pressing the button 911 getting deactivated to where it needs to be well, um, once they press the button, it's almost immediate. Okay. So we're coming on over a, a live speakerphone and just asking them what they need and then accessing the situation. I was going to ask that because if I'm in the bathroom and I fall there, the phone is in my bedroom, how are you able to communicate with me as to what's taking place or what's happening? Well, this little box right here, it's a very, very sensitive box. So it's a speaker phone. Okay. Um, and we can just communicate with you through that to find out, do you need family members? Do you need emergency personnel? And exactly what it is that you do need. So if you press it and you don't hear anything, then you'll know, because if I'm in one part of the house and the speaker box is in the other part of the house and you know there's an emergency, but you don't hear anything, you know to immediately deactivate whatever um, needed resources are going to be there. How did Safe Life Senior um, actually come about? How were they founded and everything? Um, well, there was a group of women called the Pilot Club of Columbia, mm -hmm. and they wanted to be sure that they looked out for the seniors in the community. So they started a project um, called Safe Life Senior. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, Elizabeth, wait. So this is local? This is, yes, it's very local. This, because you know, a lot of times when you hear these things, like you see them when we're watching our commercials or when we're watching different things or when you're watching Judge Mathis here on <laughs> Watchbox in the morning and you see those different things happening, you know, a lot of times you um, see the commercial and it's like these national commercials, mm -hmm. but there's actually a local company, Ben, that is specializing in um, taking care of the needs of our seniors. Do you find that there's a great response for services such as this? Oh, definitely. I mean, because the biggest advantage is 
we go out to the homes, we actually talk to the subscribers, we give that personal touch. And I mean, we're, we're the ones installing the equipment, so they don't have to worry about hassling with the phone lines, dealing with phone companies. So there's no so. there's no no such thing as um, order today, pay nineteen ninety five, send it in <laughs> and we'll send you the equipment and then you gotta call one eight hundred to get it going. You all actually will make house visits. Exactly. That's caring. That's compassionate. L let me ask this question, Ben, because of course you're over the community relations de mm -hmm. um, department at um, Safe Life Senior. Tell me about one of the times or a, a story that, that's just been like really um, touching, really, really just like eye-opening of how Safe Life Senior has impacted and changed lives. Because I think my viewers really need to understand of how this product is a wonderful and easy and safe and effective product. So tell me a story. Yeah, well, I mean, even not necessarily the button itself, but going with the, the, the recent flood that happened, um, we had a subscriber that we called. We called um, any subscribers affected by the flood in the flood areas. And she had told us that her roof was leaking a little bit. So we talked to her, we went and me and a friend of mine actually went out and bought a tarp for her, um, bought just some stakes and some rope and went out to her house in Winsboro and just at least temporarily tarped the roof so she didn't have to worry about the leaking. I mean, serious? it was damaging the inside of her home. Her pictures were getting wet and stuff. Y'all know, so. and that flood, the, the recent flood was bad. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. really bad. And so I'm sure that y'all had a lot. Now, let me ask this question. Did you have any subscribers during that time that were so, such a devastation that they ended up pressing the button? We did. To, wow. We had um, three subscribers that oh pressed goodness. their button. Um, Two of the, one of the subscribers was actually bedridden and she said that she could see the water rising in her house. And so the daughter was there, but she could not get her out of the bed because she was bedridden. So we were able to call some neighbors to get over there and help her actually oh physically God. get her out of the home. Oh my God. Um, the other lady pressed her button at four o'clock in the morning and said, the water's coming up to my steps at the trailer. Oh my can, God. You, can you get me out? Oh and we were able to let emergency personnel know that she was in dire traits and oh needed help. God. You know, th th I think it's so impactful because a lot of times, guys, we think of heart attack, falling on the floor, something of that nature to say, hey, let's let's call um, for a lifeline. Mm -hmm. However, it's almost like the lifeline is here for any situation oh, yes. that you may be going through, but we care about our seniors. Who is classified as a senior? Like, is it, or is it just for seniors? Let's, you know. No, it's not just for seniors. this product like it works for everyone. Yes, it could definitely work for everyone. Um, we've actually had a, a lady who was pregnant and had eclampsia and she was worried about um, her blood pressure and issues like that and so she had a lifeline. We've got some young disabled folks that have the lifeline. Wow. Anybody that may need to summons help in the event of an emergency that may not be able to get to the telephone. Mm -hmm. And I need people to understand. I need people, first of all, let's take a look at this for <laughs> one moment, okay? I want you to stop right here. I feel like I'm on prices right right now. <laughs> take a look at the beautiful product that lies before you. But the reason I say this is because if when you see this around someone's neck, I will not even begin to think that this is um, a, um, a lifeline. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think that. I would think in my mind, now how does this work? Tell me how does this work? Is um, this one, is just an adjustable this, cord. Okay. And a lot of folks will actually take a little gold chain um, and put this on there. And this does have an emergency breakaway cord so that if it were to get stuck on something as a person fell, okay. then it would break away. Okay. Um, and then the person just wears that around their neck. It's waterproof. Wow. It works up to 900 feet away now, from the actual Y'all know I have a big home. head, but listen, I'm going to try it anyway, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna it looks, and this is the thing, <laughs> if I walked around with this or if I had this in, people would really think it's like a piece of art. Mm -hmm. yes. That I, who designed this? Um, you, Phillips Lifeline designed wow. it. And of course, we have the, the male version, um, okay. which is just like a little watch. And unfortunately, we didn't bring it today. But so we have the, it's like the masculine. Yes. You don't need the Apple Watch, honey. You got the Lifeline. That's right. You talk to it. It taps <laughs> in, and it gives you what you need. Let me ask this question because when we think about the community and we think about people. Um, getting in, why do you think people are so apprehensive about taking advantage of such a wealthy service? Um, I think there's a stigma attached with the button. You know, mm -hmm. if I wear the button, then I must be feeble or I must, you know, I must not be independent. When mm -hmm. in, in all actuality, it's actually promoting independence because a lot of people have, so many daughters have told me, you know, I have to call my mom and check on her every hour. And the mom is like, please make her stop calling me. I am fine. <laughs> I got the lifeline. <laughs> exactly. Stop calling me. Yes, I yes. The lifeline. And it's once over. they get the lifeline, that's when the daughter's like, you know what? Finally, I can rest knowing that she is okay right. and she's going to call me. And if me something if she is wrong, me. not only, this is what I love about you all, not only are you going to contact 
emergency medical um, personnel, then you'll contact the families as well or whoever the next of kin to let you know, hey, we need you, your mom is going through or whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. But it's that sweet relief in knowing that someone is there. Right. And then, of course, the parents get to continue living their independent life or even that allows you to be able, I can step away for a moment mm -hmm. and I know that you're going to be okay. That's, That's exactly satisfaction. Right. And it's, Now, a product like this, does Medicaid cover it? How does this work? Work. How does something like this work? Um, because you know a lot, and the reason I say that is because we got to think about it. And I know, y'all know that I talk for you all. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, you have si fixed income, mm -hmm. monthly yeah. check. I don't I have any other income to put towards this. I know this is for my safety and security. I want a, a home security system, but I can't afford it. This is what a senior citizen is saying. What say ye to, to something like that? Okay, so yeah, Medicaid will cover it. Um, the community long-term care will cover it. Okay. Um, and then in addition to that, we are a nonprofit. So we subsidize lower income individuals that may not necessarily be able to afford it, but do need it, mm -hmm. especially in the rural areas, which I mean, you come across all the time. These and that's seniors, what's here. Yeah. Eastover, exactly, um, Summerton, yeah. um, those those areas, Paxville, these different areas, mm -hmm. they're low income areas. Yep. The flooding, it was they, have, they were affected. Yeah. So you say that we do have Subsidies, offered. subsidies yeah. that are offered, so we to can them. assist either reduce their rate or give it to them for free. Depending. Okay, and a product like this, what is the price range? I know that they're different based on your circumstances and whatever's going mm -hmm. on. But what would the range for something like this be? Uh, the monthly fee for the basic service is twenty nine ninety five. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so very that's inexpensive. Easy. That's yeah. very inexpensive. Yes. Thirty dollars a month. Gives you safety, security, and peace, mm -hmm. and knowing that someone is there. That's right. It almost yeah. makes me want to sing, I'm, I'm, Somebody Loves You, Baby, by Pamela <laughs> i got to keep myself Safe together. Life, Senior Loves right, You. Say, <laughs> Safe Life, they Love You, Baby. That's it right there. Uh -huh. That's it, y'all new theme song. Don't worry about it. Y'all will walk around singing that. All right, so how can they get in contact with you? Because I want my viewers to be able to find out about you. And, of course, I know y'all will hit me up once y'all want to know. But how can they find out about you, get in contact, and realize about the product? Well, again, we are local, so you can call us at 254. 2673. 254-2673, area code 803. Mm -hmm, that's correct. All right, 803-254-2673 is the number to call for Safe Life Senior. Very inexpensive, um, low cost, and anything else that you want to share that just makes it, the, the reason, let me ask this question, what makes Safe Life different from any other life system that may be out there? The people behind the, the system. Wow. Um, I have been in this company for almost 20 years. My coworker's been here for 26 years. Ben's a newbie, but he's going to be with us for a while. Also. That's it. I like Ben. Um, I, I know. like Ben. Listen, yeah. because Ben, listen, Ben took time to be. Can we zoom in on this real quick, Chris, as we go? Ben took time to be, and this is um, one of the flood victims mm -hmm. from Winsboro who was dealing with something, and you went in. So Ben took time. This is what this company is about. Exactly. It's not just about the dollars, the no. coins, or anything. It's about helping people like you who are out there, my viewers, my family, my friends, it's about that. So don't delay. Reach out to Safe Life Senior. Reach out to me if you need additional information. But it's a peace of mind and security and knowing that my loved one is going to be okay. Elizabeth, I thank you so much for coming thank this morning, you, my man. I appreciate it. Listen, when we come back, we're going to continue with the conversation from last week. Of course, we were talking about um, illegal butt injections. The story, we had it. The exclusive interview, it continues right here on The Jeffrey Lampin Show. Your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. <laughs> Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of The Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon & Graves. Good morning, we're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. Of course, last week episode, and thanks to all of you for all of the feedback and everything that you um, sent. Continue to follow us, the Jeffrey Lampkin Show at gmail.com, and follow me, of course, on Facebook. But Kimberly Smedley was here. And of course, I told you all we were gonna continue the conversation, so she's in the house. She decided to stay over a little bit before heading back to Atlanta. Yes. So we wanted to continue with your story, and of course, the viewers had a follow from last week, but just to keep you, um, to bring you up abreast, if you're just joining us, um, 
you had the butt injection. I did. Um, we call it the butt injection project that was going on, but it was a business. It was a full-fledged business. It was. And you were very lucrative in it, and it was passed down to you. It wasn't something that she just came up with and decided mm -hmm. to do. It was passed down. Um, you ended up um, being under investigation. The investigation came. You were found guilty. How long were you actually in jail for? Um, I was in prison for 17 months. Wow. Yes. You were actually sentenced to, time. they wanted to give you five years, I believe? Uh, they um, sentenced me to 37 months, which was a okay. little more than three years. Okay. But I was able to go to federal prison and get involved in a program that actually gave me some time off. Awesome. And which, by the way, I was in the same camp that Martha Stewart went Come to. Come on, Martha. You should have <laughs> reached over there and said, Martha, listen, do you have any cookies? <laughs> huh? Do you have any, any um, homeware uh -huh, that I can use? <laughs> Good morning, Martha. You know? <laughs> I absolutely love it. That just gave me my life. Good morning, Martha. Listen, let me ask this question. And then they also wanted you to pay twenty two hundred and they were trying to get yes. you to pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in restitution. Yes. We thank the Lord for grace. Because you only had to pay mercy. what, twenty five thousand? Yes, in and which I'm still paying because okay. in the midst of me going through all that, I lost a lot. You know, I, I pretty how, much lost everything. How are you making it now? Well, you well, have the book and you have the show. And I'm gonna tell you, God has been so good to me God. because He's immediately faithful. when I came home, it's like I had people that were reaching out to mm -hmm. me. The money that I had saved, thank God they didn't try to seize any okay, of my awesome. assets. I was able to write the book, get the book done, and I came home thinking, oh, people know me and this book is just going to take off, you know, and I'm going to sell a million copies. Right. Honey, it's been uh, a year later, and, and I'm working. And I'm working. Right. And working the book. Mm -hmm. And also, I have a spa. Wow. So I came home, and I was approached by a, a friend of mine mm -hmm. to go into business with her. Well, I didn't have the money. All right. And one of my friends, God bless him, um, his name is Kendrick, mm -hmm. he said to me, what are you going to do now? Like, what are you going to do that's going to keep you from going back to right. your old lifestyle? Right. And I said, I don't know. So I, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And so when she approached me with the idea of opening the spa, mm -hmm. I went to him and I told him, I said, I think I have a plan. Mm -hmm. And so I went into business with her, opened the spa, right. make a long story short, it, the spa has been open a year, December the 5th. Congratulations. And it's doing really amazing. Wow. I mean, it does not afford me a lifestyle, but I will say it does pay the bills. That's and it. And for that, I'm grateful. That's it. And you know what? Some of the times, what you got to do is you got to plant a seed you in the ground and then watch that seed come to maturation. It will, it will flow, it will it rise will. up if you work it. Uh -huh. If you work it. I tell people that we're all placed in a garden. And in the garden that we're placed in, God is a allowing us to say, hey, here's where I'm going to um, place you and you're going to be planted there. And while yes. you're planting, what seeds, what are you going to do? How are you going to till mm -hmm. your ground? And how are you going to make a crop and a harvest come mm -hmm. forward that's going to be full and plentiful and mighty? Yes. And so you've been able to accomplish that by just continuing to, to plant and to grow. What do you say, Kimberly, to those people out there who feel like you haven't served enough time for your crimes? Well, I, you know, and I have been told that, mm -hmm. you know, I've been judged, you know, when I first came home, I really hit the media kind of strongly. I didn't have the show back then, but people have said that. But here's the thing, sometimes redemption does not just come from a prison sentence. Right. People have to try to understand what you've lost in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, people don't know the tears that I've shed. You know, they don't know what I've gone through. And I think that's the difficult part mm -hmm. is that they're looking at the surface. But does jail really rehabilitate like mm -hmm. that? I think what jail brings an awareness. Absolutely. It brings and an awareness me, and it allows you to have a choice again. Whether you're going to do right, whether you're going to do wrong, what is it that you're going to do? But jail just simply allows you the, time, the chance, the opportunity to say, okay, Hey, you're at the crossroads. Either you're going to go right mm -hmm. or you're going to go left. Yes. What are you going to choose ye this, this day mm -hmm. whom you will serve? So I think that's what jail does. And also, I'm still, I feel like I'm still in prison. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you why. Because when you're accustomed to having a certain lifestyle and you lose it, then this is where the test really comes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like being in a prison that you have to, when you're in prison and you have to fight every day, fight to survive. I'm not locked behind mm -hmm. a bar. Mm -hmm. I never was. I was in a camp. But here's the thing. I'm still fighting. Right. 
you know, so for me... You're fighting for survival. Absolutely. So, have people approached you about trying to get their butt injections again? Let me tell you, I have a website. Mm -hmm. My website is Kimberly Smedley. Okay. And the website is there for the sole purpose of educating women and helping to... giving them a resource to be able to come to me because they may be having some issues. Right. But yes, I do get approached often. And that's where the true test comes in because then the mm. test comes yeah. of am I going to go right or go left? Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? And you you thank God at this, this moment in time that he's taking you through enough that you can go right. And let me share this. I don't know what you've been through in the totality. We only know what she's told us. We don't know, like you said, the nights, the work, yeah. the, the disappointments, the hurts, the name calling, the, the emails, the threats, the harassments. Because I just think that you're not telling us all the deep, you're not telling us everything. You've been through some stuff. Uh -huh. But to look at you, God is restoring you. And you keep trusting him and trusting the path that you're on. The backside of the story, mm -hmm. why should we get it? Well, I will tell you this. It, it's a good read. Okay. And the, the questions that you've asked me, mm -hmm. they're so detailed in the book. And then people ask me all the time, well, what celebrities did you do? Yeah, read the, they have to read the book. Wow. That's, yeah. So it's in the book? It's in the book. Wow. They have to read the book. Wow. You know, and I, as and time I'm, goes on, you know. This book hasn't given everything. Because I'm sure there are some celebrities that have just said, and you, well, there's some celebrities I will say that you were fond enough of that you say, you know what? I'm grace, not even going to reveal it. Grace. Gra Come on, Grace. <laughs> huh? grace. We thank God for Grace. <laughs> grace. Because of Grace, I'm not going to put it out there. And, and because, too, they really were friends. And wow. I will tell you, the book was not just, people say, oh, well, now she wants to tell who she did to capitalize on it. But it really is not about that. But it's really to let people know that everybody, got a story and everybody has got issues. Has a story right. and everybody has issues right. and you see these celebrities and you think that, you know, they just got to where they are just by being who they are. But some of them, that's you it. know, struggle with the same issues that we do and that's why it's in the book. And being a celebrity is actually a little harder to deal with because to be very honest, you're dealing with the public and you trying to Listen. live and maintain up to this standard that has been set and you're trying to do these different Absolutely. things. So it, it is difficult. Social media, where can everyone follow you? How can they continue with the story? Of course, remember I told you again, BET Centric every Saturday. Y'all need to be tuning in 10 o'clock show. Yes. It's absolutely off it the is. chain. It, it is. It was it um, really a wonderful is. debut for you all on January 16th. So it'll be back again January 23rd, uh, which will be on this Saturday coming at 10 p.m. on BET Centric. Mm -hmm. But how can people follow you? How can they follow Kimberly? Uh, my IG, Instagram is Kimberly Smedley. Okay. Facebook, Kimberly Smedley. Twitter, Kimberly Smedley. I love it. Everything is Kimberly, Kimberly Smedley. Smedley. Yeah, keep it simple. A beautiful medley yes. of a, of a, <laughs> of a com composition. That's your life. A yes. Miss Smedley. Kimberly Smedley, a oh. beautiful medley of a composition of a life that was tortured yet triumphed through tragedy. That's Kimberly well, thank you Smedley. for being so gracious. Oh, listen, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I'm glad that you came. Listen, more is happening on the Jeffrey Lampers Show. Thank you so much. We'll be praying thank for you. you. Thank God you. is going to do thank some you. great things, and he's going to continue to turn it around for you, but you got to trust in him. Scripture says, and for everyone out there, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Kimberly said it earlier today. Of course, there are so many temptations out there, but you've got to get to a place where you say to yourself, you know what? I am not going to look to the left nor to the right, but I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help, for all of my help coming from the Lord, and he'll allow you to grow and prosper and flourish, and you'll be beautiful, and you'll realize that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. More is happening here on the Jeffrey Lampers Show. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Wow, it's another beautiful day outside. It's nice right now, Corey, but we are going to have some thunderstorms this afternoon. 
I guess I better grab my umbrella. Though. Don't worry about it. I'm a step ahead of you. Your own personal weatherman, the Skywatch weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Just search Skywatch. Sponsored by the South Carolina DNR, the Skywatch weather app. Good news is, though, the weekend, fantastic. The Skywatch weather app. I'm Watch Fox Chief Meteorologist Henry Rothenberg. When tropical weather approaches, don't get caught off guard. Get up to the minute forecast with the Skywatch weather app. Everything you need to be prepared for the storm from interactive radar, up to the minute alerts, and detailed storm information. Just search Skywatch in the App Store or Google Play. Sponsored by the South Carolina DNR. Sports with Derek Phillips. Wow, what an amazing show. Had a marvelous, marvelous time. Guess what? I can't wait to get back with you all. I'm traveling back now as we speak from Atlanta, Georgia. The BMI Trailblazers Awards was this weekend. Of course, the Hezekiah Walker Choir Fest was this weekend. It was absolutely wonderful. This has been a really a groundbreaking week, I must say, as um, I want to discuss real quick President Obama delivering the final State of the Union address. It was absolutely wonderful. And let me share this. You know, I tell people often, I am going to be crying when the Obamas leave out of the White House. Here's the thing. Was he perfect? No. Did he do everything correctly? No. However, we have to look at the state of the economy and where we are at this point, this place, and this time. The world is better off in a, well, the world is in a better place. I would say, personally, my opinion, um, than where we were eight years ago. And it feels good. It feels good. I drive a Lexus, of course, right now is sleeping in peace because I had an accident this week. So we remember you, Lexus, but I remember when I would take my car and it's a premium car, which requires 93 gas. And you know, I remember the days when gas was $3 and some change and $2 and some change, but now you can actually get premium gas for $2 and 25 cents. And if you go up to Spartanburg or Rock Hill, you can get it for $2 a gallon. It's become just that affordable. And it's not just that, but other initiatives that have been taking place. Are we perfect? No, we still have a long ways to go. However, we must celebrate the fact that there is growth in our community, in our state, our nation, and everywhere. Are we all the way there? No. We still need to come together as a people. So there's work to be done. So I encourage you this week, pay it forward to someone, share a kind word, show love along the way, and let people know that at the end of the day, we are one America, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have an amazing week, everybody. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. It's church time. Get lamped. Good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody, everybody, get up. Everybody, everybody, get up. Come on. Just for you, smile and laugh, cause God loves you. Somebody turn the lamp on.